I just, I said, what else? What else can I do um, in order to continue my lifestyle and not be in pain all the time? I was way too young for that. My name is Renee O'Neill. I'm an elementary school principal, and I now live in a suburb north of Houston, which is the Woodlands. I've always been active in high school. I danced, and after I had kids, I started doing cycling and cardiovascular activities. About two years ago, I started having pain in my lower back, and I'd also gotten to where at school and my job as a principal, I could not walk my building. If there was an emergency, I couldn't go because I knew that um, I would just be in too much pain by the time I got there. <laughs> I had taken up cycling and on a typical ride I could do maybe 40 to 50 miles on my bike and it had gotten to where I could only do about 15 to 20 miles because I would just be in so much pain the next day. I went to my regular doctor and he recommended that I start chiropractic care and after that I was not really getting a lot of relief. So I went back to my um, general practitioner and he recommended that I have the steroid injections. And the doctor had told me when I had those that it was a possibility I would have to have another round before I would get any relief. And so I went back about three weeks after that, had injections again, and still I did not get any relief. I decided I, I had to do something else. At that point, I scheduled an appointment with Dr. Kotler. When I went to Dr. Kotler, he looked at the MRIs and told me that I could continue dealing with the pain and do what I was doing, or I could look at surgery options. It was a decision that I, I went back and forth on many times. When you tell someone you might be considered for back surgery, they tell you don't do it. You'll be much worse afterwards. And I was very fearful of that. How long will I not be able to go to work? Dr. Kotler told me to think about it, and I did, and I came back about three weeks later, had um, a consultation with him. That's what made me finally feel comfortable because I knew all of my questions had been answered. You know, I had a lot of confidence in my doctor, and I felt like I'd had enough, that, that I needed to do something else. It was just a miracle that the pain was gone instantly. I never would have thought by the time I got home from the hospital I would be walking without the walker. I was back on my bike on a stationary trainer two weeks after surgery. All of the exercises that were painful to me before I'm able to do without pain now. Now I'm able to walk my building freely, I'm able to do everything that I need to do as a principal of a school as far as being visible at programs and award ceremonies, I'm able to stand and not be in pain. I don't have to take any kind of pain medicine. I didn't even need to go to physical therapy. Life is definitely better than normal because I, you know, I was dealing with the pain for so long. You know, it has to be a decision that, that you've made for yourself. It can't be everyone telling you what you should do, but without a doubt, I have my life back.